<laughs> oh, hey there! I'm just making my afternoon smoothie, and after I finish making this, I actually need to figure something out, and I was wondering if you guys can help me, because after I make my green smoothie, I was thinking of either putting it in my hedgehog cup or in my little jar cup, but I need to figure out which one holds more and which one maybe holds less. So that's actually what we're going to get to talk about today, everybody. We're going to talk about something called capacity. Alrighty, everyone. So we're going to be talking about capacity. Can everyone go like this and say capacity, like you're holding something? Because we're going to talk about what capacity means. Capacity is how much a container, a container is anything that you can hold things in. So it could be a box, it could be a cup, it could be a spoon. So how much a container can hold? That's what capacity is. So like I was saying earlier, I was trying to figure out the capacity of my hedgehog cup and I was trying to figure out the capacity of my little jar cup. Now, in order to do that, I'm gonna show you a picture actually. So these two kids are hanging out on the beach, they're shell hunting, and this boy has a big bucket. This girl has a little bucket. And if we look inside the bucket, we can figure out the capacity. Like this boy, he, there's a lot in there. So there's a word that we say when we're talking about capacity. We would say holds more. And we've heard that word before. When we compare numbers, when the number is bigger, we say more. So when the, the capacity is big, it can hold a lot, you would say holds more. Everyone say that? Holds more. Now, if your container can't hold a lot, it holds a little bit, you would say holds, who knows the word, when the number is small. Not small, oh, you got it. The word is less, everyone say less. Yeah, so when the capacity is really small, it holds less. Everyone go like this and say holds less because it can hold only a small amount of things. Now, in order to measure capacity, there's some tools that we can use. And you guys have been using this to do other kinds of measurements like height or length, but for your tools, you can use anything that you have a lot of. But here's something that's really important because misconception, Miss E and Miss Fan, we've been noticing that you guys have been using things, but they're not the same size. When you measure things, you need to make sure that the thing that you use is the same size. So kind of like this. I have a lot of crayons to use to measure and they're all the same size. So I could use crayons. You could use pom-poms or marbles. You can even use Legos because you probably have a lot of them and they're the same size. Today when I measure, I think I'm gonna actually use these dinosaurs because I have a lot of them and they're all the same size. Okay, you guys ready to help me measure? Let's actually measure these cups because I need to figure out which one holds more because my smoothie maker is kind of big. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna take these dinosaurs and I'm gonna measure the capacity of my small jar and the capacity of my hedgehog cup. So let me grab my dinosaurs and I'm gonna fill it up to see how much it can hold. So let's count. Can you just help me with the small jar? Ready, I'm gonna put a dinosaur in. One. Do you think I can fit any more? Probably not. So this small jar can hold one dinosaur. So let me write that. One dinosaur. Now what about the hedgehog cup? Let's measure that. You guys ready? Let's measure it. Ready, help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Whoa! This one can hold how many dinosaurs? Twenty. Let me write down twenty dinosaurs. Now think, think, think. Which one has more capacity? Does this one hold more? Does this one hold less? Oh, I think I heard someone say it. Yeah, the hedgehog cup holds more. So let me actually write that down. I'm gonna write a big M next to the hedgehog cup because that stands for holds more. What about the dinosaur cup? Does it hold more or does it hold less? You got it, it holds less. What letter does less start with? Ooh, ooh. It starts with an L, so I'm gonna write an L because my dinosaur cup holds less. 
Okay, you ready to help me measure one more thing? Okay, I'm gonna show you another container I have around my house. Remember, a container is anything that can hold things. So, some other containers I have. Oh, actually, we already know. Which one am I gonna use for my smoothie? Probably the hedgehog one, because it holds way more. Okay, so here are some other containers I have. I have this jewelry box that says my name. I have this cute little basket that one of my students got me from Mexico. So let's actually measure these two. Actually make a prediction. Which one has more capacity? Do you think it's my jewelry box or the little basket? I see some friends think it's the basket. Oh, some people think it's the jewelry box. Let's figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna grab my dinosaurs because I have a lot of these and they're the same size. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna try to fill up my jewelry box first. Help me count, ready? Actually, this looks like it's gonna fit a lot, so let's actually count by twos. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. It looks like it can't fit anymore. Yep, barely closing. So this fits how many dinosaurs, everybody? It fits 24 dinosaurs. So let me actually write that down on our whiteboard. So here's Miss Pam's jewelry box. I'm gonna write 24. 24 dinosaurs. Okay, let's see how much my basket can hold. You guys ready? I'm gonna take out these dinosaurs because I'm gonna need it. Grab my little basket, open it up. You guys ready? Help me count. Here we go. Let's count my twos again. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 12, 14, 16, 18, Oh, it looks pretty full. Yeah. This can fit how many dinosaurs? It holds 20 dinosaurs. Let me actually write that on my whiteboard. Oh, here we go. All right, 20 dinosaurs, 20 dinosaurs. Hmm, think, think, think. The jewelry box can hold 24 dinosaurs. The basket can hold 20 dinosaurs. Hmm, which one has more capacity? Which one holds more? Which one holds less? Oh, I heard it. Yeah, the jewelry box can hold more. What letter should I write for more? Mm -mm. M, you got it, I'm gonna write an M next to the jewelry box. Oopsies, I should do that in green. M for more. Now what about the basket? If that one holds more, then the basket holds less. You got it. All right, let me write less. Nice job. Alrighty, friends. So for this week, we are learning about capacity. Everyone say capacity. How much a container can hold. Now go ahead and go around your house. Find some containers. Use things that you have a lot of that are the same size and see which one holds more and which one holds less. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye, Kinder.